Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're going to take a look at the exquisite mini Aliens Colonial Marines Xenomorph Crusher. So I got this for my wife for Mother's Day because she is a huge Aliens fan. We're going to move this to the side and we're going to take a look at the box first. So, this has been sitting out of the box for a while now, since Mother's Day, um, and I've been waiting to do a review on it. So, as you can see, it comes with a nice little backdrop. Department of Colonial Navy, United States Colonial Marine Corps. Exquisite Mini Aliens Colonial Marine Xenomorph Crusher from Haya. Is that what it says? Hiya! Hiya! Alright, so there's the side. There's the other side. There's the back. For ages 15 and up. Move the box out of the way. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Xenomorph Crusher. And he does come with a base. And you do have to put the base together. Uh, it comes with these little... These little H-shaped brackets. The H-shaped brackets don't really hold it together that well. So what my wife did was she super glued them together. She super glued the uh, brackets onto it. So it holds it together much more solid. As you can see there, Aliens, Colonial Marines, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Aliens 3, trademark and copyright 2015. 20th Century Fox Film Corporation, all rights reserved. And all it is is four grates uh, from, say, a ship or a base or whatever. And then the Xenomorph Crusher displays right on it. And it looks like there might be some spots for the pegs to go into, which they're just tiny pegs right there, 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 and there. Uh, as you can see, small peg holes on the hind legs, not really on the front, but Xenomorph Crusher, what it is, is it's basically um, kind of like the dog alien from Aliens, uh, what was it, Aliens 3 or Resur or was it Resurrection? I think it was Aliens 3. Alien 3, whatever. Um, but it's supposed to be like a tank alien. Uh, this is completely bulletproof and everything. Um, it's an evolved form of that uh, runner alien. I think is what they're called. And the detail on this guy is pretty cool. Now I will say when my wife opened this, she was slightly disappointed because first thing she saw was this part. So she thought it was an alien queen. So she was slightly disappointed that it wasn't a queen, but she liked it nonetheless. As you can see, the head does tilt. Uh, it does not really go side to side much does slightly just a wiggle um, the mouth the jaw does open and the little skull puncher does come out and then the the face part is made out of a clear almost foggy plastic to where you can almost make out the eye sockets and the skeletal structure and it does have these almost pad things right here on its shoulders uh, to kind of help protect its shoulders and lower part portions. And the arms are not really on, I say arms, but they're more legs because this creature runs around on all fours. Uh, they aren't on a ball joint, really. They just move back and forth. They can't really go out at all. At least I don't think so. I don't want to risk it. 
Yeah, they don't. Um, the elbow joint is on a ball joint, so it can swivel around and can go out that far, in that far. The paw, I guess you could say, is all is on a peg, and it does come with um, other paws. Let me get those real quick. I forgot all about them. And those paws pretty much are identical to what we've got already. Um, I'm, so I'm not sure what the reasoning was for them, but they're pretty much identical. Let's lower this so you can see them. The front ones are a slight bit more closed. Um, but if you're going to have them standing like this, I don't know why you would have them closed anyway. So anyway, we'll move those out of the way and continue looking at the Crusher Alien. It is Crusher, right? Yep, Xenomorph Crusher. All right. These little pipes are made out of a more rubbery plastic, as you can see. Uh, there is a back crunch slash twist. So you can slightly move it a little bit. Not much. There's not a whole lot of wiggle room, but a little bit. The legs are on more of a ball joint. They can go in and out, but they are hindered by this hip plate. And then the knee is on a double joint, a double hinge. And then this rear knee is on a peg slash hinge so it can rotate around and go out about that far in about that far and then again the paw is on a peg and this guy is pretty cool my wife was pretty pleased with him even though she was slightly disappointed that it wasn't a queen. Queens are her favorite. And the tail, it is a wire tail. So you can articulate it a little bit. As you can see. But let's just look, take a moment and look at the detail on this Xenomorph Crusher. The way this guy looks when he's up on two legs, it's almost like he's saying, I'm fabulous. Okay, that position doesn't really look that right. It looks like he's waiting for another alien to uh, come up in front of him. <laughs> so anyway, there you have it, guys. The exquisite mini aliens, Colonial Marines. This has been the Xenomorph Crusher. I've been Shannon. This has been Comic Ed and TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, 
go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.